The equipment. What happened? Caught on one of the branches on the way down. Can you walk? Stitches.
didn't hide your parachutes very well. You left the blood trail for half a kilometer. Follow me. I live not far from here. Dig, come. Ignatz! Ignatz! Hot soup. Come. Come in. I take it you're heading for Prague. How far is it? 30 kilometers. I have a special delivery permit for my truck. I could take you. Thank you. You rest here tonight. I will take you in the morning. Enjoy your soup. Please. left. for Ulrich Novak? Never 
Rakovi no longer live here. Who is he? Just somebody looking for directions. I am sorry, but that's all I know. Please. Can you help us? There is a veterinarian in the next row of shops up the street. I hear he is a good man. One that may help. Thank you. Ah! He normally only barks at Germans. Mm -hmm. Germans and anyone giving him a rectal examination. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Eduard. Come along, Benesh. Look after him, Mr. Lukashova. for a dog bite and go to a hospital, not a vet. Did you know Aldrich Novak? Yes. And what if we were to say that Aldrich Novak was our contact here in Prague? Then I would have to wonder if you had been informed Czech patriots or Gestapo spies trying to infiltrate what remains of the resistance. You don't detect a German accent. The decoding papers in your bag. We don't have a German font. And given that this wound has more tree bark than dog bite, I would have to guess that you were parachuted back into Czechoslovakia with information that was somewhat out of date. You're a clever man. We've also told you were good men. How long have you been away? It's been a while. Awards are given to people inform an anti-Nazi activity. Heydrich has all but crushed the resistance. He has executed thousands. I can put you in contact with the Miller. Maybe he can help you. You can stay here tonight. I'll contact the Miller in the morning. My friend here says that you are a clever man. I agree. Don't do anything that would change our opinion. Go easy on the foot. We'll be dancing the tango within a week. The, the Miller. Edward told me you were looking for Oldrich Novak. Yes. Would you like to take a drive with me? Don't move. Please sit. You were looking for Aldrich Nova. Who gave you this contact? London. And you tell us this because? You're not giving us much choice. And this doesn't look like Gestapo headquarters. You? Where are you from? Your accent, Bohemia? No. Don't even know it. Moravia. So you must know the railway station at Vladislav. Yes. 
What's so special about it? I presume you're talking about the large bed of colored roses that, when seen from above, is in the shape of our national flag. Is it still there? Seems the Germans have still not looked at it from above. I am Vanek. Vladislav Vanek. This is Uncle Heisky. We are the head of the Indra organization, Czech Resistance. I'm Jan Kubisch. I am Josef Gabczyk, from Slovakia. You must not be surprised by our lack of trust. The Gestapo have been very successful in infiltrating our network. Ulrich Novak, he was taken away several months ago. Why wasn't London informed? We lost contact with the Czech government in exile in London some months ago. We need the replacement crystals for the transmitter. We've been waiting for them to send someone to re-establish contact. Is that you? There were other men on the plane. They were dropped elsewhere. It's possible they have orders to re-establish contact with London, but that, that is not our mission. What is your mission? Operation Anthropoid. Anthropoid? What is Anthropoid? We are here to assassinate SS Obergruppenführer Reinhard Heideck. Are you completely mad? We have our orders. But this comrade. is madness. We have our orders, comrade. Heidrich? Why stop with Heidrich? Why not have a go at Hitler as well? He's only 300 kilometers down the road in a small village called Berlin. So we inform London that you are refusing to cooperate with our mission. How dare you question us? How dare you question us? You know what we have sacrificed for sacrifice. the cause here? But you have sacrificed for the cause. You have no idea what you have sacrificed for the cause. You have no idea what you have sacrificed You kill Heidrich. And Hitler will tear Prague apart. I take it you have family in Czechoslovakia. Father, mother. You kill Heydrich, then you can consider them and everyone that ever knew you dead. All Czech patriots should be ready to die for their country. That includes my family. Well, I'm not. I want to carry on fighting. We don't have that many left that are willing to do that. We are what's left of the Czech resistance. I suggest a lesser rank should be assassinated, perhaps a few of them. Heydrich is the head of the secret police. Only Hitler and Himmler are about him in the Nazi hierarchy. Exactly my point. You really think you'll ever get close enough to assassinate Heydrich? Our orders have come direct from the Czech government in London. So this is about the Czech government in London trying to impress the Allies? It was the Allies that gave us to the Germans in the first place. Many cause of betrayal. But it is also now history. I think what the Czech government in London is asking is this. Is Czechoslovakia still ready and willing to resist Nazi Germany? Joseph Kapczyk and Jan Kubisch. You are both most welcome here. And please call me Ante Moravec. Atya? Atya? Atya is my son. He is studying to be a violinist. Atya, this is Josef and this is Jan. Nice to meet you both. So, try not to go outside. But if you do, never walk together. If you're stopped, you need an excuse for why you're not at work. We'll try to get you medical certificates as soon as possible. Always use our code. Three knocks, then a single knock. In the meantime, lay low, and I will use Atya to make contact. Good luck. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> 
come on through, please. Joseph. Here is way off the roof. And there is a fire escape to the left. To the right, it continues to the building next door. It's good enough. I'm sure they both would like a glass of Becherovka. Thank you. It, it's okay. Mrs. Moravitz? Find the bread that you make. Come. Where is it? It's okay, Maria. This is Josef and this is Jan. They will be staying with us while they are looking for work. Pleased to meet you. Hello. 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 Josef and Jan are not registered with the police as being residents here. So remember, please keep it strictly to yourself. I'll put the shopping in the kitchen. Welcome. Mrs. Kovarnikova's daughter. I pay her for helping out. Dinner will be at six. Please sit. Atya, dinner is ready. Finally, the fiddler is silent. He's a violinist, Alois. A violinist. You two boys looking for work, then? Yes. We are always looking for a man to clean the cinders out of the locomotives. Thank you, Mr. Marvitz. We will uh, we'll keep that in mind. So, what do you do when you aren't helping out here? <laughs> you don't have a boyfriend? <laughs> How's life in occupied Prague? I guess not being registered with the police as residents has something to do with this question. I hate Germans. And tell me, do you have a friend as lovely as you that, um, that you can trust? Why? It would be less conspicuous if Jan and I were not seen out alone. Young love flourishes under German occupation, that sort of thing. But you're not that young. Knowing that you are trustworthy is one thing, Marie. But doing this could get you shot. Perhaps you should think about My it. My friend Lenka. She sometimes carries messages for Uncle Heisky. We are going to a New Year's Eve dance tomorrow night. Would you like to go? Look at them. It's like, it's like some old ritual that's lost its joy. Maybe there's hope in the pretense. with Lenka. This was a mistake. 
Hello. Linka, this is Jan and Josef. You know, it's not very polite. Please sit down. Beautiful women in the room. Congratulations. But you fail to understand this is this is not a night off for us. This is not some game. Yes. Maybe overreacting. Jan, take a look around. We appreciate the effort, but the point was not to attract attention. We needed you as plain as possible. Do you understand? You know, for most girls, a little lipstick is the only way to forget what's happening here. Even if it's just for a few hours. Yes. Your lipstick gets you noticed, and that gets us noticed, and us being noticed gets us all shot. This little scene needs an ending. It's not my face. It's not my face. I think that went well. to stern mark two machine gun 100 rounds and model 73 anti-tank grenades with fancy fuses that's everything we could retrieve from the drop canister uncle says he has made some progress with the information you asked for there's a meeting at cafe moravia on vodichko street tuesday two o'clock I just wanted to apologize about the other night. You were completely right to do what you did. Maria didn't fully inform me about the situation. She's very young. She still has romantic ideas about the war. And you? War is not romantic. Because here. After our last date, I thought you might both show any potato sacks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We're doing fine. Did you sit here? What do you drink? Strangers to one another, but we don't have much time. We all trained special operations together. Valtek here was living on the same drop. Yeah, drop 10 minutes later, 30 miles off course. Thanks to Valtek and his group Silver A, we have finally re established communications with London. I have orders to send and receive any communications between you and London. We have your own decoder book, right? Yes. Second Lieutenant of Alkai and Warrant Officer Shulda have completed Operation Outdistance, so. Both are now available to assist you. Second Lieutenant Opalka is the senior officer here. Yeah, this is true, but your mission objective supersedes my rank. We had word from London. Anthropoid, utmost priority. We assist with everything possible. So, this is your show, Bradley. So, you know that Heydrich returns to his family every day. 
at Palensky Brejani. But both his chateau and the castle are both heavily guarded. They are not feasible targets. And once a month, he also travels to Berlin by train. And we can predict this because his personal carriages are prepared several days in advance. But again, the station and the train are both heavily guarded. What about derailing the train outside of Prague? We can derail the train, but that is no guarantee that Heydrich is killed. I have made contact with an ex-pupil of mine who works as a repairman inside the castle. He's willing to help, but he only knows when Heydrich arrives in the morning and when he leaves. What good is that? I can build a picture of, of his routine. Sometimes he travels with an armed escort, and sometimes he does not. Perhaps there is a pattern in this. There is a safe house near the castle. The repairman could drop off the timetable every day before work. Linka or Marie could collect it. Good. And Jan and I will follow the route from the chateau to the castle. Gentlemen, this operation will involve almost everyone we have left in the resistance. So many have been captured by the Gestapo. If you are arrested, you will face some harsh facts. There will be no escape. You will be tortured until you reveal everything you know. And then you will be executed. You must protect your fellow comrades by shutting down any links you have to them. Operation Out Distance has resupplied us with these. Carry the cyanide capsules at all times. We have to end our meeting. Use the window. Looks like there's a whole garrison there. That's our man. Five minutes after nine. He's riding solo today. Wait. On desk call. Thirty seconds behind. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. If we can use a rope or a steel cable to stop. The Mercedes. In 30 seconds. In 30 seconds would be all we need. Even if a rope can't stop the car, we still need more than 30 seconds to escape from here. And we'd have to face the armed guard here in the open. It would not be my first choice. And it was our only choice. The point of the mission is to succeed, yes? I'm more worried that we haven't planned what to do if we are successful. What happens afterwards is not important. Let's follow the rhythm castle.
Well, arrived 9.15, left 5.15 with an armed escort. Armed escort? There's only one person in Prague that travels with an armed escort. Are you going to assassinate Heydrich? What? Heydrich is the target? For your own safety. It's best that you don't ask too many questions. It's a bit too late for that, no? Well, you agree to help the resistance. Who the target is should not concern you. We are about to help you assassinate Reinhard Heydrich. Of course, it concerns us. Okay, everyone just relax. Maybe it was a mistake not to inform you of the danger. Murder Heydrich? No, no. Assassinate Heydrich. Murder implies he has a life worth living. So you think we are just two little girls who are here to follow the important parachutists around? Oh, thank you. We've been resisting here from the beginning in our own way. I personally don't have any reservation to killing an acid pig. But don't treat us like what you're about to do doesn't affect us. It does, and it will. And you should keep your weapon clean because it's filthy. Where are all my pots and pans? This exit here is this. You see? It's the slowest part of the route. Anywhere else is impossible. So we do it here. Agreed? Yes. Perhaps not perfect, but it's the best option. Are they going to go through with this? We have orders. So, so you kill Heydrich. What then? You think there are more like him? They come and the killing continues even worse than it did before. When does it stop? I wish I had an answer for you. I think any of this makes sense to me. Then walk away now. Go there, Marie. You think we can escape from what is happening here? Pretend this this madness is not real? So some days I'm not even sure it is real. Heydrich chokes the, the people of this city with, with a blanket of fear. People are shot for what? The, their race, their religion, their cigarettes? You hear the stories about Poland. Maria, it's okay. Just tell me we are doing the right thing. I think it is my turn to apologize to you about the other morning. 
You have a right to be angry. We should have told you what was at the risk. Given you the choice to walk away. My father was a captain in the army. Wanted sons. Got three daughters. He and many others were arrested in 39 when Germany took control over Czechoslovakia. And when Heydrich took over here last September, his first order was to execute all the prisoners. My father was among 5,000 shot in the first week by Heydrich. For me, there's no walking away. Heydrich is worth the risk. You check the route. If you think we know how to do it. We'll arrange a meeting at the cafe the day after tomorrow. 3 p.m. Our original contact, Aldrich Novak. Who was his direct handler? Vladislav Maniak. He is the one who is most opposed to what we have to do. All I'm asking is what is he so afraid of? Jan? Sorry. Here, corner of Kirschmeyerva and Malholishevich Street. Here. Yeah, his car would have to really slow down to take that corner. Yes, he slows to about 10 miles per hour. We've averaged it out this morning arrival times. and can expect him at approximately 9.30 a.m. And the weapons? At that range, the stand gun should hit everything within the car. Mm -hmm. And the armed escort? We have found no pattern. Some days yes, some days no. If there is an armed escort, we stand down and await the next day. You know I have been against this action from the start. Yes, that's been clear. I cannot give the go-ahead without asking London to reconsider. Now, this love, this is a military operation. It's not your order to Without give. the resistance, this mission doesn't exist. What the poop? I am with Vladislav. We should get London to rethink our position here in Prague. We have our orders, children. And nothing has changed. It's easy for London to give orders. It's our lives Just on wait the line. for a confirmation. We waited four months. Four months. London needs action. Then a few more days won't make a difference. Valchik, how long before you can get to the transmitter? We can get to the transmitter the day after tomorrow. Then a couple of days for London to transmit back the answer.
Nacho. And I know this is your party, but um, we have a little announcement to make. <laughs> uh, I have asked Marie to marry me, and she has said yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why are we here? Hmm? I know. I know. Who's to say it won't happen? London calls it off. You're lying to yourself, my friend. it is easier. I have to believe there's a way through this. That there's a normal life waiting for us. The way things used to be. But it makes me feel that there's hope. I love her. I do. I love her. Transfer the 73 into a water canteen for better mobility. Rigged for impact detonation. Don't drop them, eh? That was the empty one. <laughs> <laughs> no, not for me, huh? The point proceed slowly. Of most importance. Nothing about getting us out afterwards. There's a problem. One of our contacts inside the castle has seen correspondence ordering Heydrich back to Berlin. And there have been conversations in the household about a new posting to Paris. It means that once he goes to Berlin, he may not be back. But when does he leave? Day after tomorrow. Then we have no choice. We do it tomorrow. We do it tomorrow. What? 
What is it? Ladislav has received a new transmission from London. And? They agreed with my request to stand down the mission. We believe we see the situation clearly. Therefore, given the situation, any actions against officials of the German Reich do not come into consideration. Let Yindra group know. No. Ladislav. I've just decoded a message from London. Proceed. Utmost importance. But this clearly states you must stand down. <laughs> you are deluded. This is for Yindra. So how can we recognize this? Then at least wait for us to clarify it. It may have superseded your order. We have no time. After tomorrow, Heydrich will be gone. I agree with yourself. I don't think this is a direct command. I believe its purpose is to calm the nerves in Yindra. I know you all doubt me. No, that is love. Please stop. Suspect me of collaboration. I know you've had me followed. I understand you don't trust me, but if I was an informer for the Gestapo, you think you would still be here, do you? And you tell me, Ladislav. What are you afraid of? I fear Czechoslovakia will be wiped from the map. You ask me if I'm afraid? Yes, I'm afraid. Yeah, Uncle. We do it tomorrow. As planned. I've shot a man in the field. Never killed while I'm close. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. I don't want to die tomorrow. Give me the gun.
wait for you up the street. Uncle said we weren't needed for a while. Is it today? Promise me. Plenty of time. Day 25. What's your order? Oh, never mind. Belchick, you take the street behind me. We have some sun. So take this. If you produce without an armed escort, then use it to signal. And if it does? Then. Then light a cigarette. When the car slows to take a corner, I will step out and open fire with the stand gun. This will signal the attack. Jan, you stand behind the attack point so you can throw grenades at the armed escort if there is one. Balka, you try a slow walk across here. As he approaches, maybe you can slow him down before he takes the corner. Is that clear? Yeah. Good luck. Good. Good.
Are you sure that? I, I didn't I didn't think that you were really going to do it. It's all over the radio. You shot him? The radio said there are 20,000 SS troops have been drafted in to look for us. I need to get my family out of Prague. Look, Chad, the one is going anywhere, Chad. You try and run now, and they will kick you up before you reach the city limits. You go home to your family, you stay calm, you shut them out. You think you can do that? Yeah. Huh? We failed, John. We failed. We didn't even kill him. Wounded. How bad? It's hard to say. The SS still have the hospital surrounded, so presumably he is still alive. It seems like the Germans have more men and guns up there than on the Eastern Front. <laughs> They've taken several thousand hostages. So what do we do now? Nothing. He's leaving. We're entering Prague. 
You're searching door to door. We have no safe houses left. So where do we go? I've asked Father Vladimir Petrik. He has agreed to hide all the parachutists that are still here in Prague until we can return you to London. Wait here a few hours. I will find a safe route to the cathedral. I'm sorry, my... Mrs. Morifat, I'm sorry.
much on that. I've some food with Atya. Go, go. Thank you. I regret nothing. You're the bravest man I've ever met. Father Petrek. Welcome. Please come with me. This is our hidden crypt. You will be safe there. Thank you. Gentlemen, this is Schwartz, Bublik, and Ruby. They're from the Edro this spring. Boredom may be the biggest enemy we have here. I'm suggesting three men on guard duty on the nave balcony at all times. We rotate every six hours. These three take first watch. Reinhard Hedrick has died in hospital. A direct result of the injuries sustained in the attack. Yesterday, the Germans went to a village of Lidice and shot every man over the age of 16. The women and children have been taken to camps and the buildings were razed to the ground. There has been talk that the village aimed at you somehow. I've never even been to Lutice. <sighs> These are dangerous times. Mere gossip wipes a whole village from the face of the earth. Today, Karl Frank issued an amnesty broadcast. A full pardon for any person and their family in exchange for any information about the assassins, even if they did not come forward before. But there is a deadline of five days. After that, they plan to execute 30,000 checks.
just must stop. What do you propose? Me and Joseph would go to a park. Place placards around our neck saying that we kill Hydric. And commit suicide. Leon, stupid talk. This is stupid talk. As a soldier, it is your duty to stay alive and continue fighting. Do you understand that warrant officer Kubish? The responsibility has not rested here. We know who is responsible. They will have to answer, eventually. And they will. If I didn't believe that, I would not be here now. Thank you, brother. Have you seen Maria? Is she well? Beyond this brickwork and masonry, there is a large main sewer that empties into the river. How do you know? I found some plans in Father Petrick's office. If we can chisel through this, we have a means of escape. Escape to where? Well, until the British send plans for our rescue, we are stuck here. Should it be discovered, there is no way out. I would like us at least to have this option. We would then take our chances in the streets. Two men should be working here at all times. What do you answer? About taking your own lives. Was he serious? Maybe. Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste death but once. Shakespeare. You say you know the man who assassinated Reichsprotector Reinhard Heydrich, but you didn't take part in it. You say you don't know where they are, but you know the family who sheltered them. You walked in here 
on your own accord to give us this statement. You say you are a true patriot, and the reason for doing that is because you want to protect your family and for the killing of innocent Czechs to stop. And you say your name is Carol Schiller. Dolmetscher. Alle an der Wand. Bring die Frau her. Wo sind die Fallschirmspringer? Where are the parachutists? I know nothing. You must be confusing us with other Moravets. Hebt sie auf. Jawohl. Wo sind die Fallschirmsprenger? Where are the parachutists? Los, alles noch mal durchsuchen. Überall, los! Let me clean myself up before I leave. Come on, then. Our son is my only list. Tell them he knows nothing of this. Please. Wo ist die Frau? In der Toilette. Scheiße! Nein! Scheiße! 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 Father Petrek, apparently, our presence here is in danger in the church. He wants us to leave. But 
Petrek has talked to Heisky, and there is a plan to get us all out. When? Two in the coffins, two under the dummy floor, and the other three disguised as Paul Beres. That's the seven. How soon can you be ready? Island. Maybe you would like to see your mother again. Yes? He managed to save her. No. No. <laughs> he saved her head. Where are the assassins? Where are the assassins? Where are they hiding? Where are they hiding? Please help. Where are the assassins? Where are they hiding? Germans are surrounding the church. We have to warn the others. No, no, there is no time. Take up defensive positions. We hold them from here. Bublik, take the upper gallery.
Komm schon, schnell, schnell, schnell. schnell. Last one.
This is Jan Kubiš. That's Adolf Opalka. And him, I don't know, but it's not Josef Gabčík or Valčík. Mach, dass er mit Ihnen redet. Er soll Sie überzeugen, damit Sie endlich aufgeben. Unsere Geduld ist gleich am Ende. You should get your friends to surrender. Josef, you should surrender now and save yourselves. That's Chuda. Do you hear me? Chuda! Chuda! You will be treated humanely as prisoners of war. We are dead! We will never surrender! Sprengkommando! Sprengkommando! Gleich! 